All right, we're going to talk about Wrinkle in Time. No, please. We're going to try to keep it brief. No. And well, yes, I agree with that. Liked or didn't like, but we start with the smaller one first. Yeah. So exactly. let's start with what we liked. <laughs> it, okay. So movie, it gives away what we think about the movie immediately, yeah. but yeah. Well, it's visually appealing. It's, yeah, gorgeous, I'd say. I'd say yep. when uh, Drew, no, Reese Witherspoon, the other one. When Reese Witherspoon turned into a giant leaf monster, I thought that was awesome. That her, her that is the thing, not not the, the transformation. because yeah. she just twirled around in a circle and did nothing. And, and then there were scarves, and it was dumb. But we're, oh, we're not but, talking about we're not there yet. Yeah. Uh, no, I thought that was really the nice. Effects are nice. Mm -hmm. The world is pretty. There's I liked some, where they went. Yeah, I well, like the world um, they went some to. Some of the acting's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Very few of the acting is pretty good. Chris Pine did pretty decent. Chris Pine did great. The mom was pretty good. I think she's actually pretty good, even though she's um, in bad movies. The child actors are okay. Oh no! I I didn't mind. Uh, Charles Wallace. We'll get Charles to. We'll Wallace get to. Galvin or Calvin. Let, let's his name let's was. reserve Charles Wallace for later uh, in this the review. The main lead was okay mm -hmm. for a child actor. I think she was pretty good. Um, she didn't like That's saying much. She didn't do bad, but she didn't like. But she didn't wow me. Do she fantastic. Was just a child actor. Yeah. So not really a whole lot you can fine. do there. But also, I don't think the script was... Well, actually, that's not true. I think there were moments where she could have shined. Where but she, she, I just think she kind of fell flat for, sometimes. So. Yeah. But um, back to positives. Oh, yeah. That's it. I'm trying to counterpoint. That's nice. But I don't... <laughs> I think you're right. It Goddamn. looked pretty good, and three of the actors did good. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the way... What a backhanded fucking compliment. It looks fine, and three actors are okay in it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? Oh. Do you want me to be, oh, the movie was fantastic. Disney <laughs> can do no wrong. This is like the John Carter of Disney. Oh, yeah. Which is no, John Disney. Carter is the John Carter of Disney. Disney did that too. Except we knew what the plot of Wrinkle Time was as opposed to John Carter just being a name. <laughs> anyway, so. This is Disney's, uh, you know how you're allowed a bad movie every once yeah, in a while? He, this is their one, every, a bad day at the office is what they call it. Yeah. Th this, a, is, this is their bad day at they, the office. We were actually having a debate in the car. I thought Cloverfield Paradox was worse than this movie. I think this is worse because I didn't have any expectations for the Netflix film as opposed to the big budget theater film. Well, that's true. I did give, I, I did give a little bit of a sparing review because it went straight to Netflix. I didn't have to pay for it. Yeah. But now that I have movie fast, I don't have to pay for anything. Yeah. Uh, I didn't have to pay for this movie either. Yeah, I, I gave you a, a free slip. I had to pay 30 cents because it went overboard by 30 cents. So yeah. I want my 30 cents back. But aside I, um, from that... I didn't pay for it and I want my money back. <laughs> that's how, how it was. Yeah. But let's just talk about certain things. I want to talk about the steps of not making a movie. And um, <laughs> cliche... There are so many cliche things in this Sure, movie. why don't you take us off with whatever you want the to start with. The love story between Galvin and Calvin, he, they said his name as Galvin when he introduced himself, but he's Calvin, I think. I, I don't know his name. Don't One know of those name. is not a name. After the first hour, I really checked out. I wanted to leave. Um, the love interest was so forced and shitty and... Did they hook up at the end? I wasn't I paying care. attention. I didn't but pay I attention. The last, did. like, ten minutes, he I just... He said, I'll call you later, but that's about it. I just paused um, my phone the, the whole high time. The school cliche, the bullying cliche, everything that they tried for with the being in school was just cliche. Mm -hmm. Now, you and I are big narrative guys. Like, we want, a, like, a nice little, like... A story. Conflict and resolution and characters that have arcs. So let's just... This let's is what there were arc. Bullied. Finds her dad not bullied anymore. Yeah, I want to talk about, that's the one I wanted to talk about, because the bully in this movie, first of all, bullies don't stand, like, ominously together, shoulder to shoulder, next to a locker, look hi, at someone and go, hi, yeah, and they don't, don't just chant like the fucking girls in The Shining. That was weird as shit. The Shining's a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. With a child that also has psychic powers. <laughs> it's like the antecedent to The Shining is a wrinkle in time. <laughs> How to not do The if Shining. The Shining is a protagonist, this movie's the antagonist. Exactly. <laughs> One way to put it. But no, um, so that didn't line up. And then she's isn't her neighbor and spreads rumors about her and mocks her. But the scenes that we see of her was supposed to do like a one, two, three arc. So at the first, the first third of it was her bullying her. And, that's and then the second was... The second was... Was when they saw it through the Oprah's eyes. Oprah's, yeah, oh my, and I'll get to her, Oprah in a second. Her not but feeling good about herself. She had like body issues, weight. even though she was a 10, because actors are 10s. That's just how movies work. And yeah. she's like, oh, I feel so fat. And she weighs like 90 pounds. But she weighs 7 she's pounds. Self-conscious. Yeah. And then the third act, or sorry, her third part of her story that's supposed to resolve everything was is that... Waving at her. She waves at her. Hi, oh my God. And then walks off camera. And that's the story. So wow, all she had to do, plot. yeah, all she had to do 
to stop getting bullied was just wave at the bully, and then the bully waves back, and they're wow. friends. Holy shit. Even though she, if like... If only if it was that easy. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Wrinkle in Time. Thanks, Ava Putnam. Where the fuck does Ava DuVernay. <laughs> yeah. I'm blacklisting any film by her. Okay, so she uh, she had these, like, really, really weird forced messages, which wouldn't necessarily... Not forced. Oh, my... Wouldn't, so, like, forcing I've... a message for me is, like, shoving it in there when it doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. It belongs because the film made it belong. But you know how when you make a theme, you're supposed to do, give it in undertones and not just beat them over the head with it? Mm -hmm. They beat us over the head with every single theme. Everything Oprah said was like, believe in yourself. You're a warrior. You're good enough. I can actually I expand on that. I fucking hate every, almost every character in this film. When Charles Wallace in the third act with <laughs> uh, being a Michael Pena with red eyes. I'm describing it exactly as it's portrayed in the movie. Uh, yeah, I'm not paraphrasing. Are. Yeah. So when he is Michael Pena with red eyes... He's speaking to them, and he's like, every character who says one sentence to him, whether it's an offhand comment, Charles Wallace replies with, like, their entire backstory and all of the character traits and all of the character flaws. Yeah. Like, as if he's describing to us, the audience, this is what she's self-conscious about. This is how she feels. And then her boyfriend speaks up, and he, and Charles Wallace is like, your dad beat you, or uh, does disappointed <laughs> you, and you feel like a disappointment, and you really wish that you could be live up to your... It's like, why are you telling me this? Why not show me this? The fucking yeah. golden rule of film is show, show don't, don't tell. tell. And even with the theme, you're supposed to show it so the audience can mm -hmm. figure it out, and they told us. And then the, the one time. person they didn't show don't tell was Chris Pratt and then he walks down and he's like you always had this problem of going away and you never really cared blah 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 like, it's ah oh, oh. it's so I hate this movie fisted. it's so annoying oh, I hate every it every single theme the themes were good for kids but you don't just flat out tell the audience because then mm -hmm. they don't Hair. They were trapped in this like weird simulation room, which I thought, okay, this is a weird, interesting turn. I can't wait, because up to that point, I've been really bored. So I thought, okay, this could be really cool. Let's see how they handle it. She pulls out this little like googly guy glasses. That the ones she, Mindy Kaling gave her. The, the one, yeah, the one she gave her, and she looks through it, and she sees like blueprint plans above her, and she walks on air, and she finds Chris Pine. Dude, that was so quick. That was she, fucking they, stupid. Okay. So, let me give you some preface to this. The it is the bad thing in this movie, apparently, mm -hmm. whatever. They get there, spend five minutes there, she finds her dad, Charles Wallace beats her up with brain, mm -hmm. then the film ends. So, I saw a video from Film Theory in my suggested, and I haven't watched it yet, but it's, it's a theory how it is in the same universe as A Wrinkle in Time, and I thought, that's really dumb. And then I watched this movie. They call it it. The kid has psychic powers and it preys on evil and fear and you have to beat it, you know, and it's with like love with love or caring and then, because remember the kiss free Yeah, but the it can't be it. in the same universe because one's owned by Warner. Yeah, the other <laughs> that's a good point. Disney. Yeah, that's true. But when Disney buys Warner, this will be fine, but... Film theory kind of just... They reach for it. They reach sometimes, but I think this time they, per they found... I, I, I haven't seen the video, but I would assume that they would what if point out really similarities in the these. The universe is folded together, and the mm. film suck dick. Well, it's based on like a children's book, but they take it so I also seriously. Don't like the book, well, so. they, they take the story so seriously in this movie. Like, yeah. yes, we have to test her all the way to Earth. Oh, X. that's such a dumb thing. All right, so I'm gonna I want to talk really quick about Calvin. <laughs> you looked up his name because <laughs> worst actor in the film. Really? Every single thing he said pissed me off. Because he was just so... You know how when you act, or when you pretend to act, you, like, do certain things? He was pretending to act the whole film. He yeah. wasn't actually acting. He was pretending. I didn't like him. Mindy Kaling's character was annoying. Reese Witherspoon's character was frustrating. Oprah was an all-powerful god and was like, I am weak here, after three seconds. Every character was just so annoying and useless and I wanted good characters, and they gave me... A Wrinkle in Time. Characters that I didn't like. This is the second worst movie of the year. If for me, it's the worst movie of the year. It's the worst movie of the year released in theaters. Yeah. I'll say that. Um, God, I hate Cloverfield Paradox so much. But yeah, but you know what? I out of ten, what do you think? I would honestly give it a zero if it wasn't beautifully visually affected. I would actually give this film a zero. This is on par with Transformers? Uh, honestly... <laughs> The plot was better than the Transformers plot, but only because they had one. I'm giving it a one, just because the effects are good. I'm going to go with the one as well. I'm still striving to find something else that I liked in it. Yeah, I'm Because I don't want to sit here for three hours and talk about everything that I hated. Yeah. 
Because it's like most of it. A lot of the dialogue was really forced. And- yeah, I talked. I um, loomed, le- I loomed over. I loomed. I can't speak. I tested over to you. I tested to you and I said, Fuck hey, you dog. know what? If you watch this on mute, I bet it'll be fantastic. Because every good. problem that I'm having so far is auditory with yeah. the dialogue or the sound editing and stuff like that. Just the things I said, things that, oh, oh, Oprah quoted Yoda. Yeah. Fear leads to hate and hate leads to anger and anger leads to the darkness and it instead of the dark side of the force. And violence and all that yeah. garbage. It's very, like, I swear to God, the writer just... Wait, hold on. I'm going to bring up the Yoda quote. Let's have some dead air real quick. <laughs> no, I'm bringing up the Yoda quote. Because I really want to end this review. We gave no, her out of 10. because you know what? Fear is a path that leads to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Yep. Anger leads to hate. Yep. Hate leads to suffering. The, Thank you. <laughs> almost verbatim. Almost. That's what I was saying. Almost verbatim. Oprah says to the our lead actress. So I still know her. Storm Reed. Something like that. Was that her actress's name? That's or? the actress's name. Her name is Meg in the film. Oh yeah, Meg. Oh yeah, because because at the end of the movie, um, well, uh, you know her name. The the one of the witches, the black one, not the Oprah. Mindy Kaling. She was on the Office. That's yeah. Why I know yes. Her name. That's why I figured she was wrong. But no, I don't know her name. So she says to her. The greatest minds of our time, Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton, Meg. <laughs> I was like, what? What the fuck is this movie? Uh, okay. <laughs> Ava DuVernay. I'm just gonna, I wanna, I wanna, she's never gonna listen, but I wanna give Ava DuVernay some advice. Don't make movies ever. No, that's so rude. Okay. Or if you make a movie, learn to do it good. Take a class. Take Screenwriting 101. Damn, that's so funny. Show don't tell is the most important thing, and she told she sh- mm-hmm. told everything. And the argument of oh she didn't write it doesn't matter because she directed it. She, she should have read it. the script and been like, hey, this is a problem. Let's rewrite yeah. this. All right, catch you guys next. Catch you catch guys. Catch you guys later for a thing about a thing. You guys, you took my catchphrase because I couldn't say it correctly. Gotcha. All right, bye.